Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React.js. Today we are going to learn about the login with phone number using the Firebase. So in the Firebase, we have to send the OTP, then verify the OTP, then validate whether it is to be a verified OTP or not. Okay, so before that, you have to make a Firebase account. Okay, so I have created that project already and in the sign in method, enable the phone number. Okay, you have to just do that one. I think you know, know how to create the project. I'm assuming if it not, then you can also watch my previous videos about how to create the Firebase account, right? So this is done enabling the phone number. Okay. After that, we have to make this UI for the login with the phone number Firebase. After this, I have added this number. Okay. And uh, it will send the code or not. We will going to check it right now. Okay. So here we have a phone connected. So I'm going to send this for, uh, code. And the code is sending. Okay, so let's check. You can see that is a verification code. Okay, so four five two two five two. I'm going to add the this one verification code. So that is four five two two five two. Okay, then verify the code. Verified, right? If I put the wrong code over here, like zero, then what it says, error. Okay, so this is this is how we can verify the OTP whether it's to be correct or not. So let's go dive into the code level. Okay, so what I have added. So this is my code level. Okay, so first of all we have a Firebase config. So you have to add this Firebase configurations. So this configuration where you get in. So this is here from you can get it go to the project settings okay so here we have all the details okay so you need to just copy this and add it over here okay the rest of the things initialize you can get it from here also they have mentioning the firebase config and all okay so this is the firebase configuration part then we have a sign up form where we have the input field okay so here you can see that we have phone number verification and the user id or is sent right in use effect you can also use the uh, captcha part also so i'm not using the captcha over here so okay so on submit what i have performed validating the phone number okay then uh, the firebase function that is signing with the phone number i am just adding the phone number here and app verifier okay so after the verifier set the confirmed result and is sent to be true if it is sent then make it true else you are logging with the alert error Okay, otherwise the number is invalid. Okay, so after that we have a handle verify code function. So verification code length should be equal equal to six. And then we have a confirm result that will check whether the verification code is correct or not. Otherwise verified, otherwise there should be error. You know that when we add the wrong um, phone number, it catch into the error, right? Otherwise it will go with the verified, okay? So user ID is not printed. Why? Because I am not logged in with the phone number. Just I am verifying that phone number. Okay. So this is that one. Okay. And th this is the full fledged. You can say that on change number phone number. You can see there's a code of like set phone number. This is the input. Okay. Then we have a send a code. <laughs> okay. And the send number code will validate whether the phone number is verified or not. Okay, and here we have the is send true or false on the behalf of it. This verification code will uh, shown. And uh, here you have the verify code of that one. Okay, this simple code of here. Okay, and which packages we can add that is the Firebase you need to add over here. Okay, so this is the sign in with the phone number using Firebase. Any doubt, any query in that, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.